evening, everybody. Uh, I hope everyone's doing well and you're making the best of your time off from school. Uh, I just wanted to give you an update from the phys ed department at Dawes Avenue. Uh, we did send home some check sheets for the kids to do while they're off from school. Also, those same sheets are on my website. They can be accessed through there. Also, uh, additional resources uh, for PE and health at home and everyday physical activity tips. We'll be updating this as needed uh, while we are away from the building. Uh, one of the resources I did want to talk to you about real quickly is Brain Pop and Brain Pop Junior. Um, with a lot of students around the country being out of school, they are offering free access uh, for the time being. This is uh, good for health, but it also has science, social studies, English, math, arts, music, engineering, and technology. Uh, they offer videos with quizzes that go along with them and different activities and games. So that's a really nice resource for the kids. Uh, the, the book I was going to read tonight is The Surfing Animals Alphabet. I am a surfer. I surf every day. I meet many people along the way. But I recently saw something strange as can be, a procession of animals out in the sea. The first was an anteater with a snuffy long nose. Then came a badger hanging all of her toes. Third was a cheetah, spotty and quick, standing up tall right under the lip. We haven't seen dinosaurs for a long, long time till this one turned up, flying down the line. Just one wave makes each surf worthwhile, like this backhand barrel in elephant style. Flamingos are graceful, leggy and light, perfect for pulling a quick cheater five. Gravity doesn't seem to apply when this big gorilla takes to the sky. He tells his mates, but they always just laugh. That's why he hired the photog giraffe. This hippo is shy in the heat of the day, but during a night surf, she comes out to play. Iguanas are possibly coolest of all, with this overhead hand plane tail drag stall. Log riding's all about style and grace. Watch this spotty jaguar glide down the face. Surfing tandem is tricky to do unless you have a pouch like this kangaroo. A big air reverse is a difficult trick unless you're a lemur who's little and quick. This mandrel turns in a powerful way using his rail to send, back, to send buckets of spray. The narwhal is a classy chap with a pointed tusk and a feathered cap. Here he is just leaning in to keep his board in perfect trim. This orangutan shows you a very good tip. A good bottom turn helps you to get to the lip. Little penguin knows there is fun to be had on a day at the beach for a surf with her dad. The spotted quoll, an Australian creature, is surfing her way to a magazine feature. As his colorful quad sails through the air, the raccoon grabs his rail for extra flair. Sloths are so lazy they spend all day in bed, except when it's offshore and the swells overhead. Riding a barrel's the ultimate aim, and this tube riding tiger's on top of his game. To stall for a barrel, he sets his rail then burns off some speed with his paw and his tail. 
it's hard to go in when conditions are right, so the unicorn surfs on right into the night. The vulture studied her weather charts well and swoops right on in to catch the next swell. When, you're, when you first try to surf, you might find it quite tough. Your board seems to wobble, the wave seems so rough. With practice and practice, you'll learn how to stand like the sure-footed wombat with a drink in his hand. The Xenopus is a type of frog who usually surfs on an old school log. But when she's keen for some big wave fun, she'll surf with her step up a lightning bolt gun. Yaks live on mountains far, far away, but this one has come for a beach holiday. Last was the zebra, striped white and striped black, in perfect position, about to get shacked. And that is all of our surfboarding friends as our animal alphabet comes to an end. But the next time you go to the beach, look around, because you never quite know what there is to be found. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this book this evening. Uh, if you need to reach out to Mrs. Cross or myself, my email is gbradley at sptsd.org and Mrs. Cross is ccross at sptsd.org.